So let's start out by bringing in our image plane. And so I'm going to go up and I'm going to be in the top viewport. So if I go to my four viewports, I can hover over to the top and hit spacebar. And I'm going to go to view in the menu bar and down to image plane and import image. And here we're going to go under, it's, I placed my image plane in my source images folder. So I'm just going to grab the JPEG. And the image plane is going to be placed in whichever viewport uh, you're in, currently in. And since this is a drawing from plan, then I'm going to place it from my top, first, uh, top viewport. And so if we go to our outliner, window outliner, and you select the image plane and you hit control A for the attribute editor, there's an option in the display if you want to just look through the camera for the, each one of the viewports or if you want to uh, display the image plane for all views. So if you'd like to just keep it in the top, you can select looking through camera and just use the top. But I'm just going to keep it in all views for now uh, and we'll get rid of it uh, at some point. So another thing we want to do before we get started is right now the image plane, if we, if we go to our perspective viewport, the image plane is on the origin right now. So I'm just going to grab it and just move it down a bit uh, because otherwise when we start uh, creating our polygons, we're not going to really be able to see it very well. So I'm going to go back to my top viewport. And here I'm going to start out by using a polygon primitive. So we're just going to sketch out basically here the, the boundary condition, which you can see, and then the, the three footprints, which we have here. So I'm going to go up to create, polygon primitive, and then plane. And I'm going to keep interactive creation turned off. And I'm going to go to my shaded mode, go to my inputs, change the subdivision width and height to 1. And I'm going to go to my vertex in component mode and just grab these guys out and move them out, you know, approximately to the proper uh, area. Great. And so if you want to be able to see through this, we can go up right here to this uh, three from the right, the black uh, x-ray cube. And it's right under the menu bar, and you can select Then we're going to have the x-ray uh, view in our viewport. Great, so let me turn off the grid, display grid. And so what I want to do now is work with the polygon that I have and establish basically the main areas that are going to be uh, designated for each one of the footprints. So there's a couple tools that we're going to use, and I'm going to go up to Edit Mesh, and I'm going to use the Insert Edge Loop tool. But I'm going to open the dialog box. I'm going to move my outline out of the way. So in the Insert Edge Loop tool, we see that there's a couple of different options here. The, if we use relative distance from the edge, we can freestyle it around wherever we want and then let it go. But if we use the equal multiplier, then this is going to place X number of edge loops in the position. So I'm going to go ahead and just start with uh, just one here. And if you keep it on one, it's going to snap to the midpoint. So I'm just going to put it at relative right now. I'm going to add another one here. Actually, I'm going to add it this way. And I'm going to add one here. There as well. And there. I'm going to put one on each side of these. I'm going to grab this uh, this vertex here, and I'm going to move these guys to the center here. Because what we're going to do is we're going to use these vertices to chamfer uh, this vertex. We're going to use chamfer vertex for this, and we're going to create the footprint uh, by doing that. And I'm going to add another edge loop here, just to make sure it doesn't run off completely. Not one here, another one here as well, and one more here. Great. So I'm going to go back and grab each one of these vertices here. I'm going to go up to Edit Mesh, Chamfer Vertex, and I'm going to open the dialog box, and I'm going to keep the options at 0.5. So as soon as I hit Chamfer, you can see that now, now we have our footprint that's set up. I mean, it needs a little bit of tweaking, and that's kind of what we're going to do now. So I'm going to go back into my vertex mode, and I'm going to start shaping these a little bit more. And I'm also going to delete the faces that are uh, in, that, in those positions. I'm going to grab these guys, 
move them over a bit. And I'm going to get rid of this edge. I'm going to go edit mesh, delete edge vertex. And I'm just going to grab both of these and scale them out. Move this guy back. And just kind of begin to, to start setting up a, uh, a direction which, which these uh, edge loops are going to start flowing in. Bring those guys back too. And I'm actually going to line this guy up. I'm using V for my vertex snap to line that up. And I'm going to do that after I extrude that edge. So that's probably fine for right now. So I'm going to go and grab each, uh, each one of these edges and I'm going to extrude to edit mesh extrude. And I'm going to go for this little power button here. If you click that, you're going to be on the world axis. And I'm just going to scale these in a bit. Double click those guys, edit mesh, extrude. You can also just hit the R key and that's going to snap you out of the, the extrude command. And you're going to be back into your move tool. And I'm going to grab these guys, do the same thing, can hit G. And I'm just going to bring those in a little bit as well. I'm going to grab all these vertices. And I'm going to delete this edge for right now. And I'm going to grab these and just scale them out a bit. I'm going to get rid of this edge. Edit mesh, delete edge vertex. We want to use delete edge vertex because that way we're able to delete the vertex uh, and not just the edge. I'm going to scale these out a bit. And then I'm going to grab these guys from the inside and I'm going to hold D and V to move my pivot and snap it to that vertex. And then I'm just going to move these, uh, these back a bit here. insert one here and I'm doing the same thing again insert edge loop tool and I'm going to insert one there and I'm just going to bring these out I'm going to turn off the x-ray so that we can line these up a bit better I'm just snapping these guys back great that's close enough so we have four we can see that great so then now that we have the uh, footprint basically done now we want to go in and set up our uh, initial lines that we're going to use to shape our edge flows so I'm just going to go ahead and So I'm just going to go ahead and delete the history. I'm going to go up to edit, delete by type history. And I'm going to start just shaping these. And the idea is that we're uh, able to create loops around each one of these guys. That's going to allow us to have more control over the geometry once we start adding a bit more uh, resolution. So I'm going to go into my vertex mode and I'm going to go to instead of going up to edit mesh and using the interactive split polygon tool if you hover over and hold shift and right click in object mode and you to the left you see split and then you have split polygon tool so if I hold shift right click left split and then split polygon tool that's what we're going to use and so I'm going to go and start dragging these snap in one here and start defining my own uh, edge flows I'm just going to detach this little, this little window here and I'm going to go back to insert edge loop tool, place one here and split polygon tool again and I've just set up a hotkey for it uh, with the S key and I'm going to grab this whole edge here and I'm just going to delete it and then I'm going to insert edge loop tool here, just insert one here go back to object mode, shift, hold shift, right click, and then left side split, split polygon tool. 
and just starting to draw out these edges here. And so I'm going to move this vertex here, start lining it up a little bit more with what our reference main uh, spine was. Great. So we're just going to continue uh, drawing these these edges in, and this is going to help later on once we start. Uh, using some of this resolution and I'm just using the split polygon tool again and just drawing my way around always keeping in mind that we want to try to uh, work with mainly as quads only um, but there always are going to be a few vertices that um, are going to be uh, left to be triangles but you have to try to do your best to keep this always uh, four-sided because later on it becomes a bit of a headache if you have too many faces that have our end gons or have triangles. Uh, so we always want to make sure we try to keep four-sided faces. And so I'm going to go back to insert edge loop tool, insert one here. I'm going to insert one in each one of these, just approximately in the in the halfway mark, the halfway mark. So I'm going to grab this edge and just bring them all the way up here with the split polygon tool. And so this one we're connecting here, and I'm going to move it. Actually, I'm going to put this guy up here in the corner. I'm going to go to my edge, delete edge vertex, snap this one here, pull this one here, go back to my insert edge loop tool, put a couple of uh, edge loops here. And so we're going to start connecting these back. So I'm going to use this split polygon tool again and put one all the way back here. And I want to actually get rid of uh, get rid of this one and this one, that one and that one. I'm just going to delete those for now. We're going to come back and do something with them later. If you double click one edge, you'll select that entire edge loop. So I'm just kind of going back through and starting to clean up some of this area here. Um, I'm going to grab this one here and I'm going to connect it to the center of that one. And then we're going to take this one and we're going to actually start to use this to drive this around this, uh, this face here, this hole, I mean. So we're going to just basically crawl it along each one of these edges. And I'm going to stop it here for a second while I uh, work with this area here. And so, you know, always keeping in mind, like right now, this is a five-sided. So we obviously don't really want this to uh, stay like this. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to start moving some of these guys down. And I'm going to snap it in that position. And I'm just going to actually delete this entire edge. And I'm going to use the split polygon tool and draw that one to finish that corner. And then we're going to wrap this guy the entire way around. I'm going to connect him here. I'm just going to stop him right there. And I'm going to go up to edit, delete by type, history, just to make sure we don't let the history bog down the, the uh, software. Great, so now we're here. We're going to connect one here for now. And we're going to bring this one all the way up. We're going to connect this one first. We're going to connect it right here. So we have quad, 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 quad. And we're going to let this one, instead of going that way, we're going to reroute it to go this way. It's going to come up. And then I'm going to stop it there while I work with this one. So we're going to use the split polygon tool again. Shift, hold, right click, split, split polygon tool. And I'm going to start that one here. And I'm going to walk him over this position. And I want to basically make these guys line up. So I'm going to just put this one here for now even though we're making a triangle that's okay so i'm going to actually delete this one you can just hit the lead here because we're not trying to get rid of these vertices it's just that edge and so now what we're going to just want to take this one and we're just going to connect these guys here and i'm just going to move it over a bit and so now going to move these guys over
always keep in sure keeping in mind that we want to have these uh, quads that we want to work with not the five-sided ones so I'm gonna reroute this face here uh, th this edge sorry and I'm gonna bring it up here I'm gonna delete that edge with delete edge vertex so now we have four again you can see this one kind of runs the whole way up so I'm gonna move it over some more and just continue to work along uh, trying to basically make sure you always don't leave any of the four anything more than four sides open like this in this scenario here so I'm gonna just move a little bit quickly through these areas and so we're gonna take this one's running up we're gonna have this one run across like so except we're gonna move them here and then split polygon tool again all the way up delete that one so the only issue we have here is now we have uh, one two three four five which is not what we want so I'm gonna just move this guy here and I'm gonna start a new edge from there to here great and so now that those are there we're gonna take this edge this one's running up this one's going across we have a very big big uh, end gone here which I'm just gonna insert an edge loop right here and I'm gonna do split polygon tool and just go out and then we're gonna take this one and close them up right there and then we're going to continue by we're going to delete this guy and then we're just going to draw one up here we just have that one there and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to forget about that triangle. It's fine to end up having one triangle or two that are around. It's not so bad. Um, so I'm going to go again and do edit, delete by type history. And if we have a look at this now, um, we have to re, kind of reorganize these a little bit. But generally speaking, we want to get rid of this edge here. And then just close this guy out. by inserting an edge loop here. And then we're just gonna do split polygon tool and drive them straight down. Great, so we can see that we've generated, set up a kind of good flow of uh, directions here. And you know, if we double click on these edges, part of the idea is that we can not only have these edge loops uh, that follow the geometry, that's gonna give us a lot of control later on. But we wanna start setting up the geometry to be uh, uh, able to ha have resolution added to it and uh, make sure that the edge flow is uh, correct and moving in the right direction. So here we, we're left with one, two, three, four. We have an end gone here. I just noticed that one. We're just going to close it up like so. And that should be good enough for now. Uh, I'm going to do the history one more time. And so we have one, two, three, four here. Great, so, and I'll spend a couple of minutes just kind of organizing these a little bit better. Uh, but this is a good, a good start here. And then the next lesson, we're going to start actually building out uh, the underside of this and working with the top layer as well. So we'll see you in the next lesson.